Um, people always say that, like, well, I always say that everybody that's in customer service does not need to be in customer service, actually. It's the exact same thing for people doing nails, right? Like, everybody that's doing nails really shouldn't be doing nails. I just spent an unnecessary amount of time at the nail salon. Granted, I did not go to the one of the two people that I typically go to, so that's my bad. Um, but, like, I was just there for like way too long. Um, I got my nails like cut and back to my basics. This is not a good view. But um, it just took me forever. And then like, I don't know if the nail polish was like old, but it was like making bumps or like spaces. It was just too much. But anyway, um, my nails are short and I can touch things normally again. And I'm about to go home because the nail salon drained me. Okay, I finally made it home. My So here's the nail cam. Hopefully you guys can see it. I just did like a very neutral color. Um, I like doing neutral colors because when they grow out, they don't look like as harsh. And they didn't actually, like the lady ended up fixing my nails. So I'm happy about that because I was just sitting there looking like... See why you should just go to the same people you always go to. But anyway, I'm happy that my nails look like this. And then I'm going to, I I should be able to keep these until, like I keep them for a whole month. Um, and then I might go back to like the almond longer shape or not. But for right now, I'm so glad I'm like, oh, I can, I can close my hands without feeling anything. I can type. It was getting really tricky. Also, my students use um ipads or like other devices and they have these things called key guards which is basically like i mean hopefully you all know what a key guard is it's like it's like a plastic thing that goes over the front of the device and it has like little circles so that they can like specifically click the ones they want to and like i couldn't even like click the things that like on their devices to like help them out so that's why i was like okay yeah these nails are way too long but anyway I recently, so this is this is the second part of this vlog. This this is gonna be interesting. I recently went through, actually, this is not even recently, because I did this months ago, probably like in the spring for real. I went through all of my clothes and I picked out the things that like I didn't like anymore or that no longer fit me, and things that I wanted to sell or donate. Um and I just like had it out there for like months and months and months and then i never ended up like getting rid of it and yesterday i heard of this website called mercari i think it's called where like you can sell your pieces um for money and i'm like oh i should just go back through my thing see if i truly want to get rid of the things that i said i was going to get rid of and then try to make a couple coins. So that's what we're going to do tonight. We're going to go through. I have two garbage bags full of clothes. I'm going to go kind of fast because I don't want this like vlog to be like super long. But yeah, um, I know there's this other website called Poshmark too that you can sell things on. If y'all know of websites that you can sell things on, let me know. The girl had said that Mercari is better because there's like little to no seller fees um and i think poshmark like tries to like take a bunch of your money um but yeah so that's what we're gonna get into i'm gonna show you the things i might be keeping some i'm gonna make like two separate piles to like keep maybe three keep sell donate because not everything can be sold i don't think um but yeah also khadijah reminded me to like well she didn't really remind me to do this but it kind of like brought it to my attention um this is what my hair looks like today um how i got these is that i did like two strand twists um and then i kind of like stretched it by putting so once they were in two strand twists i put scrunchies like i held it together and i put like a scrunchie here a scrunchie here a scrunchie there so that my hair was like straight 
while still in the two strand twist and then this morning took the scrunchies out and took the twists out so this is what it's looking like um i can do a tutorial of that if that's something that you guys would like to see so let me know in the comments but anyway um let's get into the clothes that i have and let's see let's see what pile they end up going into okay, i had to turn my um face tracking off because i want to hold up the I want to hold up the clothes and y'all know how my camera gets when it's trying to find my face. So anyway, the first thing I pulled out were these like skinny jeans. Uh, are skinny jeans still in? Because I feel like they're not. But I'm not going to keep those because I just feel like a, a skinny, a completely skinny jean doesn't look good on me because I have like skinny ankles. Um, like if I'm doing a skinny jean, it has to like go down, like open out a bit. So that's definitely going in the, should I, what, what should I do? Should I do like a cell part? Should I do the skinny jeans in the, in the cell pile? Let me show you what it looks like. This is the wash. And then it's just like a skinny jean. I'm going to do cell pile this is not like any serious brand it's not like a well-known brand so i don't know i'll i'll do cell pile and if it's not doing well after like a month on the website then i'll probably um donate so this is going in the cell pile then i have this like cream hoodie it says reduce reuse recycle i got this from um primark this is a size large um i liked it at first when i first bought it but i don't like the like the band i like my um sweaters to like sit kind of baggy at the like waist area or like hip area and this one sits tight and i don't like that for my own personal shape <laughs> um you have to dress for your shape people like some people don't be dressing for their shape and it just like it shows okay it shows um so i'm gonna put this in the cell pile the only other thing i'm thinking of too is who's making up the prices like i don't remember the price of those things that i bought anyway I have this cute top. This is also from Primark. It's like an undershirt. I was giving this away because I was like 15 pounds heavier when I did this. But now I'm like, mm, this is cute. I'm going to keep that. <laughs> uh, okay, next I have, I have to go kind of fast because then this is going to be forever. A workout sweater a workout shirt that has like the like cute hole um part i'm tripping definitely keeping this it was also super tight a few months ago my strand hat i'm i think i will try to sell this one um it it kind of ripped right here so i'm sure someone will be able to fix it it ripped but also it like it's loose like it needs to be for my type of hair and my head it needs to be snug otherwise my hair will just like push stuff off of my head um and this is not cutting it so i'm gonna do i think people will buy it if it's ripped i think i'm gonna do donate yeah because i wouldn't want to buy something that's ripped okay next up we have this long sleeve onesie it's it's not white it's kind of more of like a cream ish color again i like this one i think it was just like kind of like a low cut like it would always like wherever it pinned it would always be low but this is a good top i don't know from primark also primark and me locked in locked in okay here we go um this summer dress 
I think I'm gonna give this one away because it was like too short anyway. Um, nice brown summer dress and did it have pockets? You betcha. There were pockets and I like this, but it was too, it, I think I didn't wash it right. And then it ended up being, um, being shrinking. So actually, what did I say? Donate? No, I think I'll sell it because somebody might buy it. You never know. All right. This jean jacket. Also, for a while, I would always say jeans jacket. And someone was like, it's jean. I think it might have been like my old co-teacher, Josie. Maybe. I can't remember. It's like it's a jean jacket. <laughs> I'm like, wow. Anyway, so this is what it looks like. The end is kind of like frayed. And there's like little um, frays all around. I don't know if that's the right word. I don't love this jacket because I think the arms are kind of short. And again, the way that it fits. I think it's for someone that has a bit more like curvier shape so for me I just end up looking like a pole so this is definitely going in the cell that one was from rainbow don't sleep on rainbow rainbow has good stuff you just need to know how to style it okay this um, what do you call this I think it's like tweed a tweed skirt this is definitely returning back to my closet. It was getting tight, but now I believe it should be good. That's so exciting for me. Okay, next I have this like all black skirt. It's kind of like, um, people probably would wear this to work. I like it, but again, you see how the shape is just like straight for the most part. And I don't have a lot going on in the hip area, so it just doesn't look great for me. I'm gonna try to sell. Um, next, I love this color. This is a like semi, it's not like a full blown turtleneck. It's like a, is, it, is that called like a mock neck if it's not like fully turtle? Um, yeah, it's just a nice sweater. I love this sweater. It's just, you see how the bottom looks? It's just like too loose and washed out, I think. So unfortunately, gotta say bye-bye. Unless, <laughs> unless I just like style it differently. What do we think? What do we think? I didn't want to keep it. <laughs> I just love the color. This color right here is my actual favorite color of all time. I'm going to keep it because something might work out. You never know. Okay, next I have this. Got this from Primark as well. It's like a sweater and a shirt mixed into one. Um, I thought that this looked really good but then when I would wear it it would just look like a giant bag but again now that my style is like kind of switching up I might like it was that a stain actually I don't know I feel like it's just yeah, I, I'm going to keep it in the cell pile because I remember it just like not fitting nicely. Okay, next, um, this top I got, where is this one from? This was like, some of this stuff is like um, work wear that I used to wear at my previous job when we had to do like semi, well not really, yeah, like business casual. So this is like a long sleeve shirt and then... It kind of flares towards the, the um, bottom. This is not really like a well-known brand. I didn't like how this fit me, so I'm going to try to sell it. Um, moving and grooving. We have this sweater. This is from Rainbow. I like this sweater. I feel like I, I 
it gave me what it needed to give but this style is out so this is this is gonna go this style is no longer a thing and now i just like before i would wear it and i'd be like ooh fashion but now i'm just like when i if i wear it i'll be like why do i look like messy it's crazy how that works okay um these pants i actually got these pants from jeremy i believe <laughs> got these pants from jeremy these are men pants this is from boohoo man um so it, it wouldn't fit like it didn't fit like a woman's body right basically so i'm gonna try to sell that almost done with the first bag and then we'll go through the second one um a bit faster some H&M jeans. I think these, what size is this? This is a size 10, so it might be too big now. Too like big and loose and baggy. But actually, um, I might have to try it because I'm not sure how it looks at this rate. Um, a fun summer dress. I didn't what did I not like about this dress I don't think I liked the sleeves and it also was like I don't know again beautiful color but I'm not like too attached to this one so okay we have some summer pants I don't know what these pants would be called but they're very there's an elastic band and it's very like loose and stretchy I don't know what it's called. I have to keep an eye on the time because Jeremy is gonna go live <laughs> and I wanna see. Um, okay, so sell. Two more things. Okay, these are like, um, is this wool? This is from Cider. This is an extra large. Um, polyester wool nylon mix so this is actually a set I kept the top because the top fit really nicely but the pants are like they were like too short I can't even they were just like way too short and they were like flare so short flared pants is crazy but I could probably just wear these at home it's getting cold and I'd be in here freezing sometimes so I'm going to keep it. <laughs> um, and then the last two things in here are... What's this? I don't even know half the things in here. Oh, some like um, linen pants. Some linen black pants. These were starting to be a bit too short. So I will try to sell those. And then another like work dress that I used to have. Fun fact, on my first, first, first day of teaching ever, this was the dress that I wore. Um, but after many washes, it like shrunk. And I'm, I don't really have that much like sentimental value attached to it, even though it is the dress that I wore on my first day of teaching. Sell. <laughs> okay, let's go to the second bag. Oh, before that, I do have like a couple. I want to sell these boots because they're in like, pretty good condition they're suede um and i have like some slippers and then i actually didn't even know that this was in here some, <laughs> some slides um these are kind of dirty and a mess so i probably would move that to the donate pile but yeah let's go let's go to the other bag all right so in the next bag, I have this dress, which is from Shelby and Palmer. Looks like this. This is another like work dress that I had before. Not super attached to it at all. Um, I honestly like didn't love how it fit me. Um, I feel like it just like makes your stomach like pretty prominent. Um, it's like easy to focus on the stomach area and I don't like that. So sell. Um, I had this like cute pastel yellow dress. 
Um, again, focus like the focus of it is like at the stomach area, and I do not like that. So, another one of those like pants, the same one from before that I showed you uh, that Jeremy got from Boohoo Man. So I'm gonna try to sell that. This one is just the black version. Um, what's this one? A Playboy T-shirt. This was also Jeremy's. Some of these are like kind of washed out, so I don't know if I think this one might be more so like a donate pile, a donate type of thing. Okay, here we go. Another work dress. This one is definitely like fall slash winter attire, but I don't know. Do I want to keep this one? This one is kind of cute. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. What do y'all think? Should I keep this one? I could probably wear it to church. Let me know what you think about the black one. I'll keep it just in case, but let me know what you think. Okay. Then this one piece jumpsuit from Target. <laughs> it was very popular like last, was it this summer? No, last summer, I believe. But again, once I wash things, they start shrinking. I have to just like wash things or like don't dry them as much. Um, it started shrinking. So definitely can't wear that anymore. This is another hoodie. It's the same. It's exactly the same um, design as the first one that I showed you that said reduce, reuse, recycle. Um, and I just don't like the fit of it. Like, this one's, like, way baggy at the bottom. Like, it just doesn't sit right. And I wore this to um, work one time. And I think... Yeah, it's missing a letter, y'all. It says, look, your potential is endless, right? Then if I turn it, it says, your potential... Give me my money back, Primark. Like, but then that's that's really my fault too, because I didn't even realize that that happened. Um, but yeah, Jeremy Remy is going live in thirty minutes. That's my boo. Okay, so this one, if it's misspelled, I think I'm just gonna do it in the donate pile, cause why would I want to sell that? You know? Okay, this beautiful number was my undergrad graduation dress. So this is the dress that I graduated in. The quality is beautiful. It's Calvin Klein. Um, the end, like the, the seam at the bottom, like completely came out. I don't know. I feel like, I feel like it, it did its job and now I'm ready to just move on. Like, I don't, I don't feel the need to like, hold on to it for any reason hopefully I don't change my mind but this is a beautiful dress this can definitely be sold okay we're halfway through oh my gosh Khadija <laughs> speak now or forever hold it <laughs> speak now or forever hold it I'm gonna keep it for you don't worry um, all right, I have some Fashion Nova jeans. These are like super, these are like, these shouldn't even be considered jeans. They're like literally stretchy. I have had enough of these. I think they're like super tight. But like I said, I have lost some weight. So I'm going to keep it. Do you want to keep it? Yeah, I think I'll try it on just like the other black one just to see like what the fit is like. Okay, I have these like army pants. I got these from L Train Vintage, which is like a really cool vintage store. Um, and I think I don't want them. I don't, I'm, I'm not feeling like an immediate need to like hold on to them. So these are going to be sold. Okay, halfway through, halfway through. 
It's just like a long sleeve Tupac shirt that I'm not like super into right now. Um, so I can donate or should I sell? What do you think? Do people? Do you think somebody will buy this? Do you think someone will buy this? No, it's kind of like losing quality. All right, my piles are getting mixed up. Hold on. Okay, this dress I got from Pretty Little Thing. So cute. I bought it for a date, but then I just, again, it's like very form fitting and I don't love clothes that like hug my body like that. Um, I wonder if, I wonder if Ellie would like it. I feel like she would like that dress. I'll ask her. Let me hold on to that one. Okie dokie. Another cute summer dress that shrunk down. That could possibly be sold. This skirt, yo, I got this skirt for Christmas one year and it was absolutely gorgeous and it had pockets and everything and now oh i have to keep it because now now that i'm like trying to you know be on my fitness vibe i might just fit comfortably in there no questions asked okay this is a cardigan that i will definitely be donating i'm not even gonna bother to show you guys we're almost done we're almost done <laughs> um this is a shirt but it's like a shirt dress because it's like really long um not super attached to this one doesn't fit my shape the best i have this dress I actually got this from like, um, this is cute. Hold on. Brittany, this is kind of cute. I think it was like too tight though. Like around, it's like accentuates the stomach and I don't, I'm not really a fan of that. I will possibly try to sell that one. Okay. This dress again, very cute for the summer. I think this might have been a maternity dress and I wasn't sure because like it cinches and then the whole stomach area is like loose and I'm like, why is it like that? But I think it's making space for bellies. So I'm gonna try to sell that. <clears throat> All right, y'all, this, this is tiring. Fall flannel, should keep. I don't know why I was even trying to sell that. I this was my birthday blazer if you have me on Instagram or if you go on my Instagram you'll see it it's like this with the matching pair of like shorts and it was getting tight because this is a medium but maybe maybe I can get back into it since I'm you know since we're on the decline I'm really just holding on to things. Okay, this, this is like a jacket. What do you think? Keep or sell? The arms are really short. Like if I wear it, like it's like this. It's, it's like hair. And I don't know if I love that. But the colors are perfect for fall. So keep. <laughs> this is ridiculous. And then the last two things I have some work pants these are definitely gonna be sold these actually these are really good these were from Old Navy and it's the bootcut stretch in size tall so you can adjust the waist they have like these things here and it like flares over your boot don't this was a really good like pants if i was still working i would definitely have like a bunch of these but that can be sold and then the last thing is this shirt it looks like this um this is also cool for fall but the ends are frayed and like i said i think that style is like 
out at this point. So I'm going to put that in the cell pile. Okay, my cell pile is still pretty large. My key pile, medium. My donate pile, very small. Um, so I'm gonna rearrange those things and I will probably update y'all on a later vlog of like how it goes with the website because I, I don't even have an account. Like I have to go in and see like how it works. But yeah, um, I think it's a good activity to do, especially if you have like a bunch of, um, especially if you have a bunch of clothes that are just like hanging around, why not get money for it as opposed to just like taking it out and like tossing it to the side or those like bins like around New York where you could just drop clothes off. Like I would prefer to first try to make some money off of it. And then if not, then I could donate the rest. But yeah, I want to encourage you guys to go through part of the thing that I said on my winter arc video. If you have not watched that one yet, please go do so. Is clearing out your mess, your junk, your clothes, your shoes, like all that good stuff. Right now is the perfect time to do it. That's number one. And number two, it's going to bring you joy. It's going to make you happy. It's going to make you feel like... I have, I can, I have space, I have room to breathe, I have all that good stuff. So please, make some time. I was going to say, if you have time, people can be like, no, I don't have time. Make some time to clear out your space. I promise you, you will feel so much better about it in the long run, okay? So anyway, that's it for me. <laughs> I'm going to go um, just put these, put this stuff away. Um... Let me know. I asked a bunch of questions about things that I should keep, donate, sell, all that good stuff. Let me don't let me know. Can't speak. Let me know down in the comments. And of course, if you enjoyed this vlog, please hit like. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. You made it this far. Why not? And thank you guys so much for coming along with me for Vlogtober. Oh my god, I'm rambling. But I really, really, really want to say thank you to the people that have watched every single vlog um, or like even watched one and showed some sort of support and love. I've been seeing like so much traction on my page and it's like honestly like encouraging. And like I keep saying Vlogtober is tricky. Like I'm recording this now and I'm going to edit. I'm going to put I'm going to put it out like immediately. And it's like draining. But I've done 15 after this one, it's going to be 16 consecutive vlogs. And I just am um, so proud of myself. And yeah. So yeah, we're going to keep going. I'll see you guys in the next one. Um, and until then, take care of yourself. And go clean out your closet. Seriously, I'm not playing.